All right, guys, a little bit of a vlog today, a little day in the life with Jackson here. Hi, Jackson. Hi, good boy. About to go to the dog park for the first time in the Bay Area. I think it's about like five to 10 minutes away from where we live. So we're gonna check it out. It's got like 4.6 slash, oh, Jackson, no jumping, <laughs> no jumping. 4.6 slash seven stars. We're gonna check it out. And then also too, I wanna talk about the three lessons that I've learned as a first time dog owner. So stay tuned for those throughout this video. But yeah, Jackson, are you excited? Jackson, are you excited for the dog park? He doesn't know guys, he has no idea. But look how fluffy he is guys. I brush him every single day and as you can tell here, he's gotta brush the toes and the feet, the paws here, but he's getting groomed next week. So that'll be really nice. Yeah, it'll help stop him from matting. So Jackson, are you ready for the dog park, man? Are you ready, Jackson? Here is my fit for the day. No, this is a dog channel, but I like to flex my fit sometimes. Got the pink socks. Ooh. And then Jackson. If you guys don't know, Jackson's actually wearing a collar and it is a, it's called a rolled leather collar. You kind of chew it here a little bit, but I love it one over the harness because look, you can't really see that he's wearing anything and it can really show more of his fur. So that's one. And then two, it's gonna, it's a rolled collar. So it really helps in um, not preventing, but like minimizing the amount of mats and tangles that could actually happen with a regular collar. So I definitely recommend getting a rolled leather collar. And then again, we just love that collar. Light blue, light blue. That was unintentional, the water bottles, but light blue. Light blue and light blue. <laughs> About to put Jackson's leash on. But if you guys don't know me, my name is Nuriel. I am a first time dog owner. And also on top of that, my first time a dog, my the dog that I got first was, is an Ossetal. <laughs> I kind of butchered that, but yeah, my dog is an Ossetal. He's almost two years of age. He turns two May 15th and he is around 35 pounds and has actually stopped growing. So he's supposed to be a mini, but he is not really. He's, again, he's probably like in the middle between a mini, a mini and a regular sized dog. But um, I was actually thinking about this. It's so unfortunate that he is 35 pounds and a little bit bigger because I can't take him on plane. So whenever I travel or I have to go back home, he has to go to doggy daycare, which I'm sure he actually loves. But I personally would love to travel with him, so maybe some service training in the future. I don't know, but for now, here he is, Jackson. Sit. Good boy. Give me a paw. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Jackson. Yay. Oh, there's Leo. Leo, what are you doing? Leo. Jackson, what's that cat doing? What'd that cat do? Jackson, are you ready? Are you ready for the dog park, man? Oh, Jackson, what was that yawn? So you guys don't know, dogs yawn when they're either anxious or they're just not quite sure about anything. So stay on the lookout if you have a dog. They might yawn if they're really anxious or they're just restless, I guess. But I would say that the number, Jackson, what are you doing? In no particular order for these three lessons that I've learned as a first time dog owner. Number one is that everything that I do affects Jackson. What I mean by that is every behavior that I do, if I'm angry, he'll notice that, he'll learn from it. Everything is very much so black and white for a dog and for Jackson and, and me especially. Like I am very careful in how I say things, the tone of voice that I do. I make sure not to get too angry because I don't wanna make him feel like he's doing anything wrong. Like right now, he's not doing anything. He's kinda of just sitting there. He's just chilling. But again, just keep that in mind too, guys, that like, you know, it is so easy to forget that in our world that there's so many things happening. But in the dog's world, like we are their world. Everything that we do 
everything that they think revolves around us. So it's very imperative that you are very careful on how you talk to your dog, how you care for your dog, and again, just how you love them too. You want to give them the best love ever and just keep that in mind. What are you doing, Jax? What are you doing? Are you ready for the dog park? Jackson, Jackson, <gasps> are you ready for the dog park? <gasps> what is that? <gasps> Jackson, <gasps> what is that? Jackson. With that being said, we are gonna head to the dog park now. I'm gonna switch over to, oh, what was that? Jackson was clicking on my car touchscreen. I'm going to switch over to my phone so I don't have to bring my camera to the dog park. I know it can get really rowdy there. Hopefully there are a lot of dogs. If not, I'm sure they will have a good time just running out in the big field. Jackson, let's go Jackson, Jackson. dog park and it is very much so popping right now take a look <gasps> Jackson no it's okay <laughs> I guess no one comes to the dog park around one o'clock on a Tuesday Jackson it's okay it's all right I'll do some laps with Jackson we'll get some exercise Jackson where is everybody man Where's everyone? Jackson, it's okay. Jackson. Jackson, where is everyone? Where is everyone, Jackson? Jackson. Dang, Jackson, you kind of look very majestic right now. Majestic dog. Jackson is very majestic. Jackson. The second lesson that I've learned as a first time dog owner is just more responsibility. My schedule revolves around Jackson. I have to. I prioritize. Are you drinking out of that bucket? Jackson, I don't think that's good. Maybe I gotta. Maybe I'll dump that. Jackson, it's okay. No, don't be in there. <laughs> I want to make sure that he's living the best life possible. And on top of that, too, if you guys don't know, Jackson has hip dysplasia, so I have to take care of that prioritize that and make sure that I am responsible that he isn't in any discomfort that again he's living a happy life. Another part of the responsibility is making sure that he's not matted so doodles and Aussie doodles especially too. F1B doodles they have a lot of fur they have double coats meaning that you have to brush them out every single day otherwise their coat their fur will get tangled and essentially if that gets too bad it'll cause him discomfort and you'll have to shave them completely and obviously like I love Jackson's fluff so I don't want him to get shaved down to the skin. Hopefully you guys can hear me because I know there's a, a lawnmower next door but big plus for this dog park there are tennis balls all around here let's go so Jackson will run around big plus big ups big W Jackson Jackson oh <gasps> here <gasps> let's get him Let that dog go. We'll see if he brings it back. Nope. <laughs> he will not bring it back. Yay. Jackson. <laughs> Ooh, and they have fresh water. Okay. Jackson, go. Look at the water, Jackson. Right here. Jackson, it's over here. Guess he doesn't want it. Here. Right here. Oh, boy. Hmm. Jackson. So fast forward, a few hours later, we are back in the apartment. Jackson just woke up from a long nap. Jackson is tired. Jackson, that's so sad. No one was there. No one was there at the dog park. That's okay, Jackson. We'll go out at a later time. We'll go at a later time, guys. Yeah. But that brings me to my, oh, Jackson, hi. 
Hi, Jackson. Hi. This brings me to my last lesson, my third lesson that I have learned as a first-time dog owner, and is and that is patience. It's all about patience when raising a young little animal, young little best friend into the world. He's still a little bit stubborn, but his teenage years were no joke. I kid you not, like he listened to me but didn't listen to me at the same time. Like I would say something, I know he's under, I know he understands the command, but he'll just look at me and or either look the other way. So for those that have teenage dogs, you can probably attest to it, but he's good now. He's still good. He's just lounging around. I'm sorry guys, if the dog park was a little bit of a letdown, I really, I mean, I didn't go, I went in with no expectations, but still, I mean, there was like no dogs there, which was, Kind of sad, but Jackson nonetheless had a great time exercising. We just want to say thank you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and please hit that like button as it really means a lot to Jackson and me. And if you aren't part of our Aussie Doodle Lovers slash Owners Facebook group, the link is in the description. All I ask is just no promoting or selling of puppies. I just want this to be a place to share pictures, insights, experiences, and ultimately the joy of Aussie Doodles. Tell your dogs you love them. Jackson, I love you. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Yay! Yay for Jackson! Yay! What are you doing, man? You're so fluffy. Look at you. Jackson.